Today we're making this cat craft that can hold some of your craft supplies. To get started, we are going to need a pencil, some scissors, a black marker crown or pencil crown, some glue, three toilet paper tubes, a circular tracer, and some colors like black, white, and pink for your face of your cat, and I'm using orange for the body of my cat. Now you decide what colors you would like to use. If you would like to use a different color for your cat, no problem. You just want to make sure to get started that whatever color you're using for your cat is the color you begin with. Now my cat is orange, so I'm taking my orange page. I'm putting it so the long part of my page is left to right in front of me, and the short is going top to bottom. I'm going to fold my page left to right and create a crease. Once I have a crease on my page, I'm going to use that crease as my cut line. So I'm going to grab my scissors, I'm going to cut along that line, and once I'm done that, I'm going to do the exact same thing with my second piece of orange paper. So I'm taking it, folding it over, creating a crease, using that crease line as my cut line so that I can cut nice and straight, and now we're ready to do some measuring. You're going to take your page and flip it over, and you're going to do a little measuring here with your toilet paper tube. Now all I'm doing is making sure first before I get started that as I roll my toilet paper tube that I have enough paper. So here you can see I have enough paper to cover the whole toilet paper tube and I'm going to use my pencil and just put a little tick mark where I want to get rid of that excess paper. You don't want too much extra paper. I'm also going to do the same thing top to bottom. So top to bottom, I'm going to put a little tick mark where my toilet paper roll ends, and then I'm going to join those. So I'm going to draw a line down and a line left to right, and I've created a smaller rectangle. Now I'm going to cut that rectangle out, and once I'm done that, I'm actually going to use this as my new tracer. Now because we have three toilet paper tubes, we need three of these rectangles the exact same size. So rather than measure again, I'm just going to take that rectangle, put it over top of my larger piece of orange paper, and I'm going to trace right over top. So top to bottom, left to right, and ta-da, I've got my second rectangle ready to go. I'm going to cut that out. And yes, I'm going to do that one more time. So tracing and cutting it out, and when you are done, you'll be ready to glue. I put a fair amount of glue on. I'm using a glue stick, so I'm going to put quite a bit of glue on the left side, quite a bit of glue on the right side, and some glue in the middle. If you're using a white glue, you want to do the same thing. Just make sure you evenly spread it. And then I'm going to start to secure my toilet paper tube to the paper. So I start in the middle and I'm just going to roll it over. You just want to rub down on top so that it's nice and snug and then just give it a tiny little bit of a tug so that it secures it and you don't have any space in between your toilet paper roll and your paper. So you just want it to be pretty secure and then just rub the tips so that it sticks. You don't want anything sticking out. Now you can see mine is a little bit so I'm just going to add a little bit of extra glue. So if yours sticks out it a little bit, do the same thing, add a little bit of extra glue, and then gently pushing down so that you don't squish your toilet paper tube, but so that you get enough pressure that it sticks. Okay, you're going to do that again for your second toilet paper tube, and once again, a third time for your third toilet paper tube. Put those aside, let them dry, and let's work on the rest of our cat. I'm taking my tracer, my circular tracer, and putting it in the corner of my page because I want to use the rest of the page and I'm going to trace around it and I'm going to cut it out. Just a reminder, make sure that tracer goes in the corner of your page because you're going to need the remainder of the paper. When you're done, you're going to have a little piece at the top that's left over and I'm actually going to use that to draw my ears. I'm going to use my pencil. I'm going to start at the bottom. I'm going to curve a little bit coming from the left to the right and then come all the way back. And here on the other side, rather than draw it again, I'm actually going to just clip off my page and fold that extra piece back around so that when I cut, I'll be able to cut once and end up with two ears that are exactly the same. Now I'm going to use that leftover orange and I'm going to start at the bottom of it. I'm going to draw a line up, kind of curb 
curve a little bit in and then around and then just follow that same line back again, leaving a space in between. Now this is your tail. You can create a tail that looks any way that you would like. Mine kind of looks like a bit of a question mark, but be creative and have fun with your tail. There's no right or wrong. I'm gonna cut out my tail as you can see and I'm gonna use the extra little bit of orange and fold it in half. Once it is folded in half, you are going to fold it in half again. So fold it in half once and then again and you're going to notice, see how you have the two folds together? That's where you want to draw. I'm gonna draw a half a heart. So once again on those two folds, draw half a heart and then cut it out and you will end up Ta-da! With two hearts that are exactly the same. Ready to grab our pink piece of paper. We are going to create the inside of our ear. All I'm going to do is fold that pink piece of paper over and I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to start at the bottom. I'm going to loop a little bit to the right and then back again the other way. And here we go. I've created that same kind of like a triangle. So if you're not sure, just make a triangle and round it off. You're gonna cut that out and that should fit nicely on the inside of your ear. If it doesn't, just trim them, that's okay. Then you're gonna put a little bit of glue at the bottom and slip that in behind your circle so that you have your ears ready. Now grab your white piece of paper and fold it over as well. You are going to create your eyes here. So you're going to draw a circle and then you're going to cut that out. And remember, because you folded your page, you are going to end up with two congruent eyes. For the next step, I'm taking my black marker and I'm drawing a circle on the middle of my white circles to create my pupils. I'm going to glue those onto my cat face. And then I'm going to take that piece of paper that we had before that's pink and fold it back over. I'm going to use my pencil and I'm going to draw a half a heart right over the fold line. And then I'm going to cut that out. When you cut it out, that will be your nose, but before gluing it on, we need to make some whiskers. So I'm gonna take my black piece of paper and I'm just going to cut some long skinny strips. So just some rectangles. I'm going to use three, but you can use as many as you would like. And these are going to be glued on to that heart that we just cut out. So you're going to take that heart you're going to put a little bit of glue on it and then you're going to place your first black whisker or first black rectangle. I like to put mine straight across left to right and then the other ones I will put diagonals. So I'll put some more glue on and put a strip that goes a diagonal way one way and then diagonal way the other and then I'll put glue right in the middle, flip it over, and we're ready to put it underneath my eyes for my cat face. Then I'll take my marker and I'll just draw a line that goes down and curves to the left, and then a line that goes down and curves to the right to finish off my mouth. It's time to glue our toilet paper tubes together. So we're gonna grab those toilet paper tubes. You're going to locate the part on the toilet paper tube where the paper had rolled over. Remember that little piece that we had to glue down? I like to put glue right on that. So if you find that spot where your paper had just rolled over and connected, you put a whole bunch of glue. You need quite a bit of glue for it to stick. So just add quite a bit of glue to that and then connect it to the other piece right where it the paper finished on that one as well. So when you're connecting them, I just put my fingers right inside and push down. I like to hold those down for quite a bit of time. I usually do a 10 second count and then I'm going to add glue to the other side while I'm waiting for those. I'm just holding those together and there's my line again where I had connected my page and I'm gonna hold all three down. So here we go, holding them down. Don't squish them, but just hold them down and ta-da, they should be good to go. And we're ready to assemble our feet. So I take my little hearts that we had cut out earlier and I'm putting them in between my first roll and my second roll. I take the second heart and put it just on that third roll, but you can place your feet wherever you would like. I try to make sure that they're not hanging over so that when I stand it up, it will not squish them. Then I'm going to take my tail, put a little bit of glue on, and put it at the back of my toilet paper tube. So just flip it over, put it at the back, secure it down. 
Then you take your cat's face and we are going to flip that over and just at the bottom you're going to put some glue and you're going to flip it back over and put it on the first toilet paper tube on the front and it's done and ready to hold your materials. Thanks for joining me on Craft Club for Kids. Be creative and have fun.